question all night. Heather, what did you come up with? Well, Catherine and Cena, the sheriff says maybe Congress needs to take this on next. It all started up again when the Tea Party of Surprise asked your Sheriff Joe Arpaio to investigate. He in turn asked his volunteer cold case uh, posse to dig in. Now we spoke with the head of that team this afternoon who refused to talk to us about that so-called person of interest. However, he did say this may be the biggest scandal perpetrated on the American people. Um, Big, one of the biggest scandals rather perpetrated on the American people. Oh my God, nobody wanted this. You know, nobody wants to think this is happening, you know, in their country. Lead investigator Michael Zulo claims the group didn't set out to take down the president. Our goal in the beginning was to prove this document authentic. The problem is the evidence kept taking us somewhere else. He says it took six months and 2,200 hours to come to the conclusion that President Obama's birth certificate from Hawaii, released by the White House last April, was manufactured. It never was a paper document. It was literally created in the mind of a computer and resides on cyberspace. The White House responded today by pointing to the president's comments last year regarding the same issue. We're not going to be able to solve our problems if we get distracted by sideshows and carnival barkers. This is your face, your reputation, your name in the front of this investigation. How comfortable are you making these allegations? I'm very comfortable because we did see, uh, seek the advice of experts regarding this. You can build the document. We could take the document apart out of the same file released by the White House. You can't do that if you just scan in a birth certificate or any other documents. What do you say to the naysayers? And there are a lot of critics out there saying this is all, you know, a bunch of BS. Prove it. We did. We proved our point. That document's created. And from here, Sheriff Arpaio may look for a congressional investigation. We reached out to every member of Arizona's congressional delegation in Washington today. Only Representative Jeff Flake's office got back to us saying that he believes that President Barack Obama is a U.S. citizen and was born here in the United States.